today let's talk about male infertility is the incidence really increasing what is male infertility male infertility is inability of a sexually active couple after marriage inability to conceive within 12 months using unprotected intercourse it can be primary or secondary what are the most common causes of male infertility can be pre testicular testicular or post testicular causes pre testicular causes the incidence is about 2% where it can be the issues which are in the brain due to hypogonadotropic hypogonadism testicular causes is predominantly the most common cause for a male infertility which includes about 70% the most common causes can be because of the lifestyle changes because of consumption of alcohol drugs or toxins or it can be infection in the testes secondary to tuberculosis or mumps or it can be post testicular causes because of the ejaculatory duct obstruction or it can be because of an ejaculation or retrograde ejaculation what are the most common investigations we have to do if a patient comes with male infertility is most common we need to do is called as a semen analysis second we need to do the hormonal evaluation with serum fsh lh and serum testosterone and we need to do a basic ultrasound of the scrotum with doppler what are the treatment options when we consider a patient who comes with male infertility includes first if it is a pre testicular cause we can start him with a beta hcg injections if it is because of the varicocele then we can plan for a microscopic varicocelectomy or if it's because of the obstruction in the vas or in the obstruction in the ejaculatory duct we can plan for a transurethral resection of the ejaculatory duct or if it's the obstruction in the vas we can plan for a vaso epididymal anastomosis or a vaso vessel anastomosis if it is because of the an ejaculation or disturbance with the ejaculatory disturbances we give them with some penile vibratory devices Thank you.